this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and um, I'm going to be switching it up a little bit with these top three videos. Uh, you know, historically, I've always done catamarans under 250,000, 500,000, 750,000, and then the occasional video of catamarans over $750,000. Um, you know, those numbers have really worked well, although things have kind of not really a major change in the catamaran market, but I think the videos are going to be. Uh, much better samplings if I change the pricing structure a little bit. So what I'd like to start doing now is videos of catamarans under 300,000, catamarans from 300,000 to 600,000, and then catamarans from 600,000 to 900,000, and then the occasional catamaran over $900,000 if I think it's a good deal. Uh, the other thing I'm going to start doing as well too is recording these videos for IGTV, Instagram's new uh, television app. So I'll be posting those on there. If you don't follow me on uh, Instagram, my handle there is Catamaran Central. I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. Uh, but anyways, without any further ado, the top three catamarans for the month of July under $600,000. Number three is a 2010 Voyage 500 owner's version in St. Augustine, Florida. They just lowered the price to $559. The uh, Voyage 500 is a really good, well-built, blue water cruising catamaran. They didn't build a lot of them in the owner's version. Most of them were built in either the four or five cabin version. Uh, so the owner's version is a bit rare. Really, really well-built boat. Uh, I had a colleague who just went up to St. Augustine to show the boat, and he said it's one of the cleanest boats he's been on for the year. I trust this guy's opinion. So uh, yeah, I think it's probably definitely worth checking out. Boats equipped with air conditioning, generator, inverter, water maker, Brunton variable props, uh, all electric winches, LED lighting, uh, good electronics package, good sales, etc., etc. Once again, price at $559. Spec sheet will be in the description down below. Number two for me for the month of July, catamarans under $600,000, is also a 2010, another South African boat, a Nizena 480 owner's version in Norfolk, Virginia, asking $539. Um, you know, this is also kind of a rare boat. Most of the Nizena 480s built were built for crude yacht charter, and so they're four cabins, so having a three cabin layout is a really, really nice uh, thing. Boat's got low hours, LED lighting, water maker, AC generator, Garmin Electronics, uh, solar, wind generator. It's got a uh, downwind sail, an asymmetrical, a code zero, electric winches, all in all, a really well set up blue water cruising boat. And then number one for me, catamarans under $600,000. Uh, you know, I featured it last month. I've talked about this boat in the past. I still think it is probably the best deal on the market, or one of the best deals I should say on the market, is a 2014 Lagoon 450 uh, named Chapter Two in Annapolis, Maryland. I wanna make it very clear. I am not the listing broker on this boat. I've got no obligation, no responsibility to the seller. I'm just pushing this boat because I really do believe it is a really, really good buy. Um, I'll post a link to the video walkthrough I did last week on the boat. Uh, it's got lithium batteries, solar, hardtop, uh, a really good set of sails, including a parasailer and a Code Zero, updated BNG electronics. Uh, you know, they did a lot of custom work in the owner's stateroom. Just all in all, a really, really nice boat. So those are my top three catamarans under $600,000 for the month of July. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.